Craft the chalice. Okay, what do I need for the chalice? I need... Tiger's Eye... Uh, yep, I've got lots of the fragments. Throw Luma food. Okay, and that's in the farm case. Can I control the scroll of ingredients here? Because it seems like I can't. Bah! <laughs> now, is this like a once a day deal? stuff. Give me your energy. Alright. Whatever. Can't... Do I have any more bronze ore? I think I do. Yeah. Am I out of charcoal? Let's just never run out of charcoal, shall we? Yeah, once a day pet and feed for two Lumas. Sounds nice. All right. What were we doing down here? We're looking for special crystals. I like this cave. It's kind of, kind of nice. Like you can just kind of explore in any direction. It's kind of spooky. Like one of the things I'm not a huge fan of, oh. in like cozy games is they'll they'll have like a dungeon where you fight monsters and it's such a huge inconvenience with like energy management it just doesn't fit most of the time it feels like I see something sparkly over there. We're gonna get it. You should use the hoe to collect uh, mushrooms. You should get more. Oh. Pro tips already. I appreciate it. Maybe it's a great thing that I like took a week before I got around to this game. Oh, my friendly viewers can tell me all the all the hard things to learn. Alright, I want whatever's shiny down there. But first... Let's hoe up these mushrooms. I got... Did I get two? It says 14. I hoe. I'm at 15. That's not a hoe. 16 17 eh, it didn't look like it gave me more but I haven't upgraded my hoe so maybe that's it it did look like it did something a little special Were you the thing that was sparkling? The bronze rubble? I don't think that was worthy of a sparkle.
it might depend on luck. How about that spooky ambience? Am I about to get devoured by spiders? Tiger's eye, we found it! They did a great job about making this part scary. I don't see any spiders, but I can feel them. You know what would be a fun prank? Putting like the arachnophobia setting in your options, but not actually having spiders in your great game. That would be a fun prank. Like you just have like spider sounds every now and then. Make everyone believe that there's spiders. Farm meteorite. Ooh. That's expensive. <sighs> yep. No spiders here. Hang on. I've got to whip something. Oh my gosh, you seem to be a number of spiders. Do you come when I spend too much time in the caves? Is that your deal? So there are spiders. And I'm guessing whenever you hear them, that means they are here. So the last time we heard spiders, they were just like crawling around looking for us. <sighs> Which is nice. I mean, you know, it's good to be wanted. Great job. You were waiting for me to get eaten before you went to bed, but I nailed it. Yeah, I ain't scared of no spiders. Now, harvest men, those are, are horrifying creatures. Like, they can't hurt humans, but like, whenever you think of like giant spiders, do you know what, like, a giant daddy long legs would do to you? So, like, spiders will inject you with, like, some kind of toxin that will, like, melt your insides, right? You know, classic spider. But, harvest men, they don't have that particular feature. What they've got are teeth like features so they would like chew on you and since most of your pain receptors are in your skin I imagine that's a much more painful way to go I'm just saying alright welp alright you know what I'm not going to chase you into the darkness. Come on. Have at you. I think it's time we leave. And I would prefer 
to get uh wait what is going on ah uh, the torches go out do the spiders put the torches out that's a cool feature sneaky spiders They come when you mine the gem because the sound is sharper. Oh! Neat. Alright. Uh, let's get this treasure chest over here. We'll start crafting the chalice and we'll go to bed. Nope, we'll go to bed. So we can wake up. And pet our Luma. Gives me energy. And I cannot throw food in here. But I can do here. Yeah. Thanks, pink friend. So we got this little jackalope luma. Is that what you got got already? You're going to bun, have fun, hope you become as addicted as everyone else is. I I think it's a good chance. I'm having a great time with this game already. Okay, for you, I need bronze rubble and the blue gems, which are even deeper in the cave. Okay. So I guess I craft several hundred torches. We can make more copper. We can make more bronze rubble. I can just make another chalice just for fun. But we won't be doing that. What, what will we be doing? Be making a storage chest. There's still... Okay. We'll save monster parts in here. Like webbed junk. Okay. Uh, and we will sa save webbed satchel. So many cool things. Okay. Eventually, we're going to go back to town. But I kind of want to check out the little temple. Where you drop off all the little jemmies. Because we got a bunch. Nope, keep them with you. Don't bother with chests. Yeah, like, I'm afraid I will accidentally sell them. But, you are the expert. I will follow your advice. We're missing two. So close. It's gonna be like seven million dollars in there. All right, well, I'll just be smart about what I sell. Surely I won't forget your advice. Yeah, I I will say I am loving this game so far. And I'm thinking maybe December is going to be a whole lot of this. And a whole lot of uh, maybe Cyberpunk? 
We'll just do like 50-50 except for like Final Fantasy Friday. Oof, that was a mouthful. Uh, the question is like, what game do I play when? The web junk is safe to sell for sure. Sell them all. Sell all the web junk. Got it. And I'm going to sell the artifacts because they're worth millions. Spider leg I keep. Uh, sort. So the necklace. Wasn't I supposed to give the crown to that lady? Did I sell that? No. Got the broken crown. Repair it at the archaeologist workbench. What do I need to repair that? Also. Uh, hang on. There's the lost library. Ooh, I did the thing. But what is the book? I got new drawings. But did I though? Ah, oh, there I go. So I can build decorative barrels and crates. That's kind of lame, but okay. All right, I need... A Luminist. Uh, it looks like I want to build a small Luminist. Yes, give me that. A garden hose, that's cool. It's a shame I'm not farming at all. What's this? Cash Lynn has raided me with a party of seven. Lynn, how are you doing? Welcome. I'm so happy to see you. I hope you had a great stream. I haven't actually started farming anything. Can I farm? Maybe. Lynn Raid. Hey, Rogue. Long time no see. Lynn Raid. You just finished Wind Waker. Wait, you finished Wind Waker? I never finished Wind Waker. I got stuck somewhere. I just never went on with it. Buy rabbits? And wheat seeds. I do need to plant wheat seeds. Give me... Let's just plant a batch of nine of those. I also need grapes at some point. <laughs> oh, thanks for the shout out. Yeah! Thank you! Thank you so much, Jessica. Lynn is one of my first followers ever. And it's always great to see her. Like, she may have been like one of the first people to actually care. Which is just amazing. You might have been like the first person who ever spoke in my Discord. Before you, it was just me shouting into the ether. Like, hello. I'm gonna play games. Would anybody like to watch? <laughs> okay. You are a rabbit. Okay, hang on, hang on. A jackalope says there's a treasure under all of this. But... But I can't get to it because there's a rabbit on top of it. Hang on. Look, you gotta move, dude. He refuses to move. Whew. 
You were just telling the story about how he came across your channel. Well, nice. How did you come across? It must have been... It must have been Fae Farm, right? That was my first successful video, like, ever. Teaching people how to grow flowers in Fae Farm. Something uh, really amazing has recently happened on my stream. Or uh, for my, like, YouTube videos. There are a few cases. And let's upgrade. Let's upgrade some things. I need more leather. Constantly. Uh, let's see. Wow. Did you look at that? An iron axe. And it just keeps going. Okay. I was like, wow, we already hit max level. Neat. I think I should focus on the whip, though. I need more shrooms. Yep, Fae Farm. However, you did not click because of Fae Farm. You didn't like that game, sadly. That's a fun... That's the funniest bit about it. I didn't like Fae Farm that much, either. But I did want to help everyone grow flowers. You clicked because my username was interesting to you. Saw Twitch. You and I had very similar about me section panels. So we're like, oh my god, twinsies. I don't even know what my about me section says anymore. Probably like, hi, I like video games. Trying to be wholesome. It's a struggle. Because it can be sometimes. It's a good practice, though. Have I pet you yet today? You adorable little bunny. Yeah. You good boy. I did pet you. Of course I did. Uh, it is raining. I don't need to water these. Cool. Just the visual aspects, like the actual pictures. Yeah, oh. Yeah, we both hit up Canva, don't we? It's just the best way to go. That's what all the pros use. I like to think I'm getting better at it, too. I like to think my thumbnails are improving in quality. They probably aren't. What was I doing? I was making leather for my whip. Oh, but anyway, I have appreciated you for a long time. It's just a shame like, I never get to raid you because you have like normal human hours. But I think one day this might, like, come back. Right? Like, if one day I'm able to, like, quit my day job, I'll, like, get off of work and I'll see, like, Lynn's up. And then I can send people your way for a change. It'll be great. Right now, our favorite person to raid is Sandra, just because she lives in Korea. And so she'll be on at like 6.30 in the morning, my time. You'll be lurking while you do post-stream stuff? Yeah. I hear that post-stream stuff. I need... tool things for tool stuff. Alright, we'll get there. What am I doing? I'm crafting the Yucatali staff. I haven't actually considered what that actually needs. I think it needed blue things. Babadita. Bada bada badita. Yeah. Okay. I know exactly what to do. We go to bed. 
We wake up, we pet our Luma. We, uh, we pet him again, just for fun. Then you can go over there, eat some Luma food. And then we go right back into the dungeon. And we get the blue stuff. Uh, this way. I follow the cape, the torches all the way down here. Oop. I can see you, blue torches. these falling rocks over there too. I can't help but feel like one of them is just going to land right on my head. It would be real interesting if like the hard hat option, which you can have, would actually save your head from getting crushed by falling rocks. Alright. 